in this Speed Boost Roblox Studio tutorial. We are welding a blue circle part to the bottom of our player, which is a visual effect and going to be activated when the player presses or clicks the speed icon. In addition to that, we will be adding this sound effect which you can hear when the player does the speed boost. This speed skill contains a lot of elements that you can adapt to your game and use to create something else out of. Such as instead of the blue ring being visual, it could be much larger and act as a healing skill. Okay, let's get started on this blue ring first. Then we will add the sound effect. The lighting effect will likely be in the next video. Open up Roblox Studio. First, we are going to need a cylinder part to make the blue ring. In the part properties of the cylinder, change its size to 4.5. This is going to be the outer part of our ring. Call the part circle. Duplicate the part and call the duplicate circle inner. Change the size of this one to 3. To check where the inner part is, I am just going to change the color to red. I'm trying to use this inner part to cut a hole in the larger part. I think I need to make it a bit bigger like this. So it pokes through each end. Yes, that's it. Now I can negate the part to make a hole. Let me show you how to do this. Click on the circle inner part and choose to negate it like this. Now we just need to select both parts and then choose union. Oh, actually we have a problem. Once we make the union, I cannot change the size and this is too high for our ring. Yeah, we have to undo this. Click Ctrl plus C. On the larger part, which we called circle, change its size to 0.2 as shown. 0.2 is the first value for the size, representing X. With the circle still selected, I am going to change the color to blue and for the material, I am choosing neon. Transparency I set to 0.5. You can change these settings to what you like best. Now, select both parts and click on Union again. Okay, we finally did it. You can call this part Speed Circle. That's done. Move it to Server Storage, and then we can add a few lines of code to our script, which will attach this to our player. If you don't have these scripts, please watch the previous video to write them. The link for these will be in the description. First, we are adding code to the server script, which we call speed script. This line is a standard wait for child. It is waiting for the server storage for the part called speed circle. And it stores that in the local variable speed circle so that we can refer to this in our script. It's important that you write the name exactly and case matters. Insert this code in the same place, and make sure it's indented inside the function. This code is going to weld the speed circle part to the humanoid of our character. Okay, let's give it a quick run to see what it looks like. Oh wow! That's not what we wanted. Let's check the code, we have to add another line. This orientation line of code is the best way to rotate a cylinder part. Run it again to check. Okay, that's perfect. If we wanted an angel, which we don't, but seriously, we are getting close. It has rotated it correctly. Now we just need to tweak the position in relation to the humanoid part. Change this to minus 3.1. Now this should work. Yes, that's it. The ring is not going away though. So we need to destroy that. Inside the function, just before this last end tag, type in speed destroy like this.
Okay, that's the part attached to the humanoid in the correct position. And as you can see it moves and stays with the player. With a bit of lightning, it will provide a great effect on our speed boost skill. And that will really finish off the skill so that it's fun for the player to use. Let's add the sound effect to this really quickly. And then in the next video, we will do the lightning effects. Okay for the sound we have two things to do. First, create a new module script under replicated storage. And put this code inside it. I called it audio player with a capital A and capital P. A link will be in the description for my audio sound video, which goes through this. But really you just need this audio player file, and then you can play any Roblox sound using the sound ID. The second step to adding sound is to load the sound with the sound ID, and then play the sound. Back under the server script service, make sure you are editing the speed script, which we were just working on. Just write the code in the same position as I do, and pay attention to the syntax in capital letters. When you get to this point, we can enter any Roblox sound ID. This is how you find that. Open up Roblox, click on create. If you don't have your own creations like me, search in the library tab there. Once you have clicked on the sound you would like, this is the sound ID. Now, copy the sound ID. Okay, we just have one more line to add, which will play the sound, and we are done. After the speed orientation line, add this line as shown. Let's give it a run and see how it looks and sounds now. Yes, the sound really makes it awesome. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next video, I'll show you how to add an amazing lightning effect to this. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off. See you in the next one.